Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. In this video we are testing Valorant on the Intel Core i3-10100. It's integrated into UHD Graphics 630 and 16GB dual channel RAM. So it's 2 times 8 gigabytes and we are running the latest available Intel driver here from 9th July 2022 which is 3101012111. We are running on 1080p low settings. We are using a 75Hz monitor and uh, so we've got here our 1080p and all on low because good thing of the Intel UHD 630 is it's able to maintain stable FPS at these values. So let's jump into a round of Spike Rush. I already tested Valorant a couple of weeks ago on the exact same system. And it was basically running fine, but it's really good to make a detailed video of this system in this game. Up ahead, don't criticize me for my gameplay. I'm a total noob in this game. And the setup that I'm using right now is also sort of rubbish. Yeah, just have a look at the system performance. Don't judge my gameplay. Let's start the counting. What's important for Valorant, you don't want to get below 60 FPS. If, you, if you're if you a competitive player, I'm not, obviously, um, you want stable FPS values of your system, of your monitor refresh rate. In this case, this would be 75 FPS, averaging now 82 fps so that would be totally fine for this system need to hear him but i can't oh god huge lag huge lag didn't expect that but this was a system lag you know this wasn't this wasn't related to my uh, to the to my internet connection. Okay, sorry. There was like half a second lag uh, right now, and totally re related to the system. I don't know what uh, what was the cause of that. Maybe you guys saw it. I didn't have a look on the on the on the left side to the graph. Probably GPU was running at 99% at this moment. Don't know. But yeah, you basically you don't want to have these lags, so I hope they don't occur again. Because even now, with all the graphic effects, this is running fine. Whoa! <laughs> okay, but now there were no legs at all. RAM usage is also pretty high, already exceeding 10 gigabytes. Crazy for for, uh, for sorry for Valorant. Fortnite is also pretty RAM demanding. Uh, oh god. Yeah, they played that really nice. Took out one by one. Sides. 
it's always bad when I have got the most kills in a team because I'm a really, really bad player in this game. I used to play a lot of Counter-Strike 10 years ago, but never really got into Valorant. <laughs> Two walls. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Nice. Nice, very nice. Good job. And now also performance wise, I didn't notice any lags at all. It ran way better than in the first round. Oh god. I got lucky. Uh, yeah, we lost this one. But performance wise I'm really happy with this system so it's really a good sign that you're able to yeah play, basically play at 1080p low settings uh, on the Intel 10th series with the integrated graphics so the performance of the i3 should be very similar to the i5 and the i7 of the 10th series because they are all using the same integrated graphics okay that's it for this video. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel. I hopefully see you all in the next one. Stay safe and have a great day. Goodbye.